So we have uh, three new officers that we've hired that we brought here to uh, Keepers to outfit them with their initial equipment. And we'll be um, having them fitted for ballistic vests, uh, their uniforms, and all the gear that um, the police officers wear on their duty belt, which can get pretty extensive. This initial uniform fitting process is really going to be close to a day-long process. Um, you know, it, it, it takes a while to get the, uh, the uniforms fitted right, the ballistic vests fitted right, and then again, all this equipment that goes on their belts. Um, it just takes a while to pick all this stuff out. Usually one store won't have everything that we need, um, and so it, it really is a day-long process on this initial um, equipment issue. We outfit the officers initially with all of their equipment, and then after they've uh, been employed with us, I believe for their third year, then they start to get a uniform stipend or allowance. Every piece of equipment that these officers have, from something as simple to their boots, um, to a key holder on their belt, it all serves a valuable purpose. Uh, we want the officers to be comfortable in the field, we want their equipment to function. For a new recruit, this is kind of like um, Christmas Day or a kid in a candy store because going back from when I was uh, went through this, you don't realize all the equipment that the city is investing in you and that an officer is required to have to do their job and so you know, we, we will spend several thousand dollars um, equipping these officers so that they can go out in the field and do their job. It's a, a valuable piece of the, the initial um, officer experience.